Hello friends, good morning and good evening everyone. You are Yelp here. So today I am here with one of our guests, uh, Ms. Zainab Iqbal with us. She is an electrical engineer. She is pursuing uh, her MTech uh, from NIT Surat and uh, so he, she has very good experience in the projects. So she, uh, she shared uh, her experiences with the BHL Bhopal in Transformer Division and uh, what she seen there and how things are there and then in one of the capri power plant the 30 megawatt plant also she has some experience there she explained all the processes involved and everything and uh, her projects also she explained it and uh, so uh, for uh, especially disabled persons uh, some wheelchair movements from left right front and back uh, with uh, by using by using robotic controls as uh, she developed one small model she also explained that and uh, uh, induction motor, permanent, mo permanent magnet synchronous motor, those things, uh, the controlling direct torque, direct torque controlling method also she explained in a brief manner. Uh, I hope this content is uh, useful to you, it will give you some uh, idea to you so so that you can you also can prepare your own projects and everything. Yeah, this is just a small introduction, introductory, we are going to do many more videos in the coming days and we are going to share uh, all her projects also on our platform yeah keep watching this video till the end so that you will get better understanding yeah yeah Zainab. good morning welcome to our channel good morning yeah, thank you sir thank you yeah thanks for being a part of in my journey and uh, for sharing the knowledge i'm so happy to be here thank with you no sir it's my pleasure actually i saw your channel it is really good okay okay very nice yeah yeah so somehow you 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 seen some the content and you also I, I think you yourself voluntarily yes. joined in this uh, that's very nice yeah good 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 okay okay yeah thank you sir. yeah how are you Janet uh, how how are things going on there sir I am yes sir it is like in this pandemic but in my area it is safe okay very nice good good good. Okay, okay. Yeah, Zainab, before going to the topic, uh, let's, let's speak a few things about yourself and your uh, educational background, and then we will jump to the topics of discussion. Yeah, yeah it's your turn, dear. Welcome again. Okay. Proceed. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. I'm Zainab Begbal. I have done my graduation from Samrat Ashok Technological Institute, Vidisha, mm -hmm. Madhya Pradesh, in electrical engineering, okay. and score 8.46 GPA aggregate. And then I uh, attempted GATE in 2018 and in 2019 also. And with the 2009, with 96 percentile yeah. and with uh, in two th with the score of 2019, I got selected in NIT Surat, yeah. uh, which is Sardar Vallabhai National Institute of Technology Surat. Yeah. So I am currently I'm pursuing my um, uh, master's in power systems from SBNIT Surat. Okay. Now, and my current CGPA, aggregate CGPA is 8.98 okay. and I am doing my major project in direct or control of AC motors okay. and its proposed method. Okay. And I have done my summer trainings, summer trainings in uh, Vardhaman Yans in Captive Power Plant and in uh, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited Bhopal okay. in Transformer Division. Yeah. And also, I have done my major project of graduation in in that uh, gesture control robot mm -hmm. that I have already mentioned in my resume. Yeah. And yeah. now I am doing, and I am also writing uh, one or two papers on director control schemes and its novelty, which yeah. I have generated. Yeah. So these are the uh, things that I am currently pursuing. And by personal nature, I can say I am a, a, a team spirit person and a positive thinker person yeah. with like not only the goal oriented the process should also be enjoyed so yeah. I am that kind of a person and I am opportunist also yeah very nice so, very nice thank your, you. your journey is very good so after a bit I, you, yeah so get uh, around 3000 uh, rank you got that's nice yes yeah. sir okay 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 yeah. Thanks. Okay. Okay. So, how is uh, your uh, education is going on MTech program now? It's almost end, right? Yes, sir. Like this year, my whole major project is in pandemic only, and mm -hmm. it is work from home. 
like okay. for uh, four to five months, I went to college. Mm. In that only, I tried to innovate or uh, like, and I tried to get with my guide and do things in four to five months. Otherwise, yeah. it is uh, going to work from home mode only. Yeah, yeah. So I did because of that. I am not able to done my hardware. Yeah. But so I am going with simulation things only. Yeah, yeah. You, are, I think you are missing your college environment. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I did. Because yeah. everyone, everyone will love the NIT culture, IIT culture, but uh, yeah. unfortunately, this uh, this COVID batch, uh, they are missing the college, but still they are finishing their education. <laughs> yes, sir. like that surrounding only will motivate you to that's do true. good things. That's true. That's true. That's true. That environment itself yeah. a little bit different, and the people who are meeting, who are uh, there. And it's completely different. In the process itself, you will transform into the completely new person. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, Anyhow, but still, you people are very good. Yeah, doing good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, discuss few your industrial training related. For example, uh, at the BHL Bhopal, uh, I think it may be around two weeks training. So can you speak uh, some few things about that? How you got that opportunity to get the training there? And uh, how you entered there and how you finish it? What is the outcome of that? I mean, uh, what you learned there? So can you speak a few things about that so that it's good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. From in BHL, uh, like in our graduation in third year, after third year, we need to do some in summer trainings okay. in the vacation. Mm -hmm. uh, so we all the friends we decided uh, to go to some good place That's so that true. we can actually learn things. <laughs> Yes, yeah. sir. and the PSU is always a good thing. And Bhopal is my hometown, so we selected uh, BHL Bhopal. And one of my friend's father is there okay. because after um, other not knowing anyone, you can't go or you can't do training in that. That's true. So my friend's father is working there. Mm. So he it took our uh, he took our res resumes and all, and uh, gave it to HR team, and we got interned there. And firstly, when I went there, I got uh, to I got the transformer section. Okay. We all uh, we are taken in different sections. So I was in transformer manufactured okay. of transformer division. Okay. So it is making uh, at that time it is making 400 kV and 500 kV transformer, and it was planning to make 800 kV transformers also. Yeah, so from yeah. the scratch part, I, I saw like they are not allowing us to work, but we can saw everything. They can explain everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, what, yeah. what I did, they tell me how go, from scratch, how windings are being made, mm -hmm. how they are generated, how they are placed, and then how they are went to, how they are taking it to the transformer part and making it in that case. And after uh, arranging everything, how they are doing connections. Yeah. And how they are after connecting also, they are not directly sending it to the uh, consumer, like customer. Yeah. They are first testing it uh, for many tests are there, two yeah. to five tests are there, routine yeah. test and high voltage test. Everything they are doing there and then they are getting it to the customer. Yeah. Or, and after taking to customer also, they are one of the uh, supervisor went there. And mm -hmm. they are placing it there, and again they are doing some tests in front of their customer. Yeah. And if it is okay, then that deal is there. Okay. So how customer yeah. is making and oil is making, how they are filling everything I saw there. Okay. So that okay. was my experience. Yeah, yeah, it's it's wonderful experience, right? Uh. <laughs> yes, sir. yes, sir. That was really good. Yeah, whatever you studied in college, uh, that is a uh, that is different thing. And when yes. you are observing things uh, directly, and with the core and uh, LVHP primary secondary windings yes. and their assembly and one yes. over other and oil filling tank, yeah, yeah. I think it's yes. given some good. It, it it should be given some good understanding to you, uh, academic point. Yes, of view. sir. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. No. Whatever we are learning in theory, that uh, that when we see in practical form, it is really good. Like it comes uh, directly what is actually happening in the uh, industry. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, BHL is uh, the government company that is making very big, um, yes. big higher rating transformers, bigger rating transformers with respect to the yes, 
EVM yes. A and with respect to the the voltage levels also the 400 kV and 765 kV yes. higher higher transformers were uh, made and born in uh, BHL Bhopal itself. Yeah, very nice. Yes. Uh, okay. 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 So the, finally, they given they might be given some certificate, right, for you for like visit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, training certificate I have from BHL as as well as from Bardhman Yans too. Okay, okay, so okay. Generally, if you go uh, two weeks training, so what is your uh, curriculum there? I mean, uh, if you go morning, what you will do till uh, evening in this session? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When I um, firstly we can't uh, take any mobile phones or anything there. Mm -hmm. So when I uh, enter into it uh, from eight o'clock to five o'clock, it was there shift. Okay. And at two o'clock, I, I got my lunch. Okay. So from eight to two, I I wrote uh, like uh, no one is free in morning session. Everyone yeah. was busy in their own work. That's so, true. So uh, we what we do, what we do we roam, and if someone is free, we try to ask them things, and we try to learn from them. Mm -hmm. And uh, in second half, some people got free. So they explained us. If we ask them, they definitely explain us everything nicely. How they are making, how they are putting it, and what is the process, what is the theoretical background, everything yeah. they are telling us. Okay, okay, very nice. Yeah, is this like any classroom training? Is there or only like uh, directly shop floor you are observing and uh, learning? No, yes, sir. on on first day it was like classroom training. Other. Uh, after that, it is like roaming, seeing things, mm. how uh, things are going on and learning it. Yeah, 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 that's true. So whenever uh, you, you, yeah. you people are in the shop floor, you should ask, you should, you should have a number of questions. You keep on ask someone who are yes. there, who are working there, uh, and then they will explain yes, you sir. and uh, you will get some better understanding. By directly watching itself, uh, you may not, you may get feeling, but yes. you may not understand why they are using this. Why yes. they are considering this like that? Yeah, yeah, very good, good yes. opportunity for you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, what about that? Uh, I, I think at Vardhaman also you did, right? The what is that training? Is this uh, same or yes, something sir. different? No, sir. It is a uh, captive power. Uh, I uh, got opportunity to tr be trained in captive power plant unit. Mm -hmm. Captive power plant is like uh, they are generating their own power in six. More than sixty percent of power they are utilizing by their own. Okay. So I got uh, trained in that section. It is a thermal power plant unit. Okay. So they are generating it coal, uh, coal, and also they are like uh, their uh, spare part is from grid and diesel engine. Okay. First I'll go with the co uh, thermal from coal based how they are generating. It is a rating of thirty megawatts okay. plant. Mm -hmm. So first they are uh, taking the coal from coal handling plant. And from there, they are bringing coal through conveyor belt to crush it. To yeah. crush it, if every some dust are there, yeah. after crushing it, they are getting uh, to pulverize it. Mm. And after pulverization, they are get, getting that coal through conveyor belt to the boiler. And yeah. uh, in that boiler, uh, yes, uh, water is coming from water handling plant uh, through economizer. Yeah. And uh, that uh, through that coal is burnt and water uh, becomes steam, and yeah. that steam is uh, uh, sent through uh, sent to turbine okay. to rotate the shaft of the alternator, and that alternator and the uh, steam uh, the the steam is uh, went to the con uh, condenser. Yeah. Uh, that uh, shaft is being rotated. Uh, and the alternator and that uh, how that is how that electricity they are generating and okay. more than uh, sixty percent of that electricity they are utilizing for their manufacturing goods only like textile they are uh, basically they are for textile and fabric making mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so utilizing it for that okay. how they uh, in that uh, I learned how uh, they are generating from coal base like whatever the uh, coal is coming from pulverized and burnt they are di divided into two uh, ashes like fly ash and bottom ash. Okay. Bottom is they send to the cement industry. They are not wasting it. Yeah, they are yeah. uh, sending or uh, selling it to the cement industry. Mm -hmm. And the fly ash, 
supply as they are uh, what they are doing they are again uh, giving it to the electric st electrostatic precipitator what okay. electrostatic precipitator do is it is a negatively charged um, uh, rod so whatever the dust particle like we are not we cannot directly dump into the atmosphere That's true. so they are doing uh, yes sir. so they are uh, get that is electrostatic precipitator is, is actually a negative rod particle in which the dust particle is collected to it and uh, the whatever the flue gases are there they are uh, disposing it to atmosphere through chimney Yeah. Uh, so these are the process they are doing, and one thing is they are ge uh, they are getting like if uh, in any emergency is uh, sometimes uh, that coal based plant is or thermal plant is not working, uh, but one their spare part is a diesel engine. Yeah. Uh, and other is the grid. So first they are going with the grid thing, and then diesel engine. So I saw the switch yard also there. and mm -hmm. uh, that uh, from the uh, they are getting a high voltage from the grid to the bus and before uh, getting it to the switch yard they are using the surge arrester okay. if high voltage is come then yeah. voltage transformer is there in that switch yard mm -hmm. to measure the voltage for as it is for 33 kv so it is taking 33 kv only okay. after that it is going to the bus and after that is it is measuring the it is like current transformer is there so that it is measuring current after that it is a circuit breaker sf6 circuit breaker they are using okay. after that they are transmit isolators and they are transmitting it to the transformer to step okay. down the voltage and after transformer it is going to their manufacturing unit yeah yeah very nice Yeah, for this uh, 33 kV, I think there is no need to use SF6 circuit breaker. Yes, they may be using. Okay. Yes. Sir. Because oil circuit breaker itself or VCB itself is sufficient. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No issue on that. Good. Good. Okay. So this is the 33 kV copper power plant, right? Yes. Sir. It is 30 megawatts. 30 megawatt and the voltage is 33 yes. kV. Yes, sir. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Very nice. It all gives some good understanding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Actually, it is like uh, in I'm second year. I did in Vardhaman, yeah. So I mm -hmm. uh, I am not able to recall everything right now. Yeah, and so I understand. Nice, no nice. No so it's, it's good, good explanation. You whatever you see, you just uh, uh, explain in your understanding way. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Can you speak few things about your project, the gesture control robot? Uh, what it is and what you did there? Yes, sir. Mm. Is a gesture control robot specially I make it for uh, the specially able people. Mm. Uh, if they are not able to, uh, so I don't wanted to make just a robot. I want to make its application. Mm. So I go. I have gone with the wheelchair making of that applications. for specially able to person who are not able to uh, run their wheelchair by their own so we can control that uh, wheelchair by our hand gesture or by our head gesture also okay. so i used uh, our adxl uh, 335 accelerometer for mm -hmm. uh, this purpose uh, first i'll go with the hand gesture movement uh, mm -hmm. it is uh, it is i in, in any gloves i made that pcb or chip i can say Mm -hmm. And that uh, first, it is uh, whatever it is. It is ADXL three three five sensor. It senses my uh, movement. After that, it is uh, given to the voltage, uh, like voltage regulator, to maintain its voltage. Okay. And then it went to the encoder. HT uh, HT twelve E encoder I use for it. And okay. after that, it is transmitted. and after that it is transmitted to the wheelchair through the radio frequency uh, medium yeah. so in wheelchair what uh, what is the uh, circuiting <laughs> is going on first uh, first i yes first i made the uh, that uh, receiver uh, what uh, what uh, ever i am sending the signals they should receive and yeah. uh, then after receiving it it should decode it uh, so ht12d decoder i used 
after that it is uh, been uh, like it is also again a voltage regulated to maintain a constant voltage as in uh, i am using the power supply of transformer and it is converting ac to dc through center tape transformer so it is fluctuating dc welcome okay. to maintain a uh, constant dc i used uh, uh, voltage regulator chip uh, at uh, S seven eight zero five and I C L M three twenty four. After uh, so it can maintain a five volt constant uh, and after that it is uh, gi given to the motor driver. Okay. So it can sense it want to uh, so it can uh, move to right left uh, front back. Uh, I'll go with uh, I'll explain what is A D X L three three five accelerometer is. Mm -hmm. It is basically uh, a it can measure the uh, you can say it is a transistor it, it can measure a force wherever you are moving yeah uh, wherever you are moving your gesture head or hand whatever you are using so it can use minus 3.5 uh, volt to plus 3.5 volt okay in this way can measure it uh, and uh, also it can measure the tilt in all the three axes x y z axis mm -hmm. and the angle of x is roll y axis is pitch and z axis is u uh, okay. so the, it can measure the inclination also okay. uh, and whatever uh, acceleration we are giving it can sense that and convert it into voltage okay. so that voltage is uh, driven to the motor driver set and that signal is been recorded and it can move accordingly okay what motor you use it there what is the motor rating so i use dc motor there Okay, 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 and uh, you use the battery for powering it or what? Yes, sir. For powering it, I use battery for handling. Okay, okay. Have you assembled it on a wheelchair or it is like only a table project or what? No, no, sir. I assembled it on like I made a small wheelchair, not big way thermocol wheelchair for my monola. So I made a small wheelchair by my own, and I apply uh, not it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, very nice. So you directly use it a DC and DC motor. So there is no inverter and all required. Inverter circuit not required here. No sir, no sir. I already use rectifier, center tape rectifier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for transformer to power supply. Okay, okay. How much the project costed for you overall, approximately? Yes. Sir, we were three people, so it uh -huh. was. It is around. It is not that costly. It is around three to four thousand only. Okay, very nice. So, good, good. yeah, yeah. So you are able to move that wheelchair, right? From uh, the, with yes, control. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. I am able to move that wheelchair. Uh, okay, with only uh, gestures, they are able to move, or any switch, switch arrangement, anything you given for the for it. No, sir. Only gesture. It is able to move. Okay. with the gesture but it can move in right uh, right left front and back okay okay and its range is 90 cm okay okay i mean if the person sitting he uh, other uh, other has to give the any gesture or uh, the, uh, the wheelchair person itself can give the gesture or what the wheelchair person itself can give the gesture okay okay yeah no problem okay okay yeah very nice good It is a help. I mean, it will help uh, some people some way. It will give some trigger. Yes, that too. that was my motto. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. that was actually my motto. Yeah, whatever generally we are doing, it it won't go into the waste uh, because we did something the project because you are juniors or someone who seen it or uh, so somehow it will go to the next level. That's why that's how entire uh, the infrastructure whatever we have today it is developed. From one to one, one to one, one to one. Yes. Very good. Good answer, yes. that one. Yeah. Okay. Finally, yes. your final the project, uh, the direct torque control. Yeah. So why you chosen that yes. project and uh, what is the uh, uh, the main theme of it and uh, you explore it uh, in a general manner. We explore now and uh, in complete separate session we will discuss the briefly our entire thing about that. Yeah. What is your motto of choosing yes, that project? Yes, sir. Yeah, what is the main motto of choosing that project? There are many projects also. Okay. What made you to choose this? Yes. Uh, yeah, proceed. Uh, 
सर इट इज लाइक आई हैव अ कीन इंटरेस्ट इन इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्राइव्स और आई कैन से हार्डवेयर थिंग सो व्हाटएवर सो इट आई एम फ्रॉम आई एम बिलोंग्स टू पावर सिस्टम बैकग्राउंड्स बट आई चूज द पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स प्रोजेक्ट बिकॉज़ आई वांटेड टू डू सम हार्डवेयर और आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन ड्राइव्स थिंग सो आई सो सो दैट्स व्हाई आई स्विच टू पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड आई चूज दिस प्रोजेक्ट Uh, so this project is basically a direct or control method of uh, ac motors in this i am using uh, induction motor and permanent magnet synchronous motor and now i am planning to use another motor in this also okay uh, so th- uh, this is uh, like that to direct or control scheme is basically a variable frequency drive uh, technique in this and the uh, the flux and torque can be controlled directly and separately okay. and also if i can control the torque i can also control the speed of the motor so okay. aim of to control the de- speed of the motor actually yeah. so this is the thing and uh, this is a variable frequency drive as i say and uh, the main the basic principle behind this is uh, to control Uh, and do choose the be, uh, most appropriate voltage vector from this look up table what i made is and the be, uh, most appropriate voltage vector should be given to the as the gate signal to the inverter and yeah. output of that inverter is given to the motor uh, so and it is a very simple and easy to implement matter other the, like rad instead of using our foc field oriented control or vector control method it does not need any coordinate transformation it is very easy to implement method so yeah. what is happening in this i i'll explain what is happening actually the reference torque uh, or the estimated torque is been compared with the actual torque what is being coming it is a closed loop method mm-hmm. it is uh, compared and it is given to the hysteresis controller Okay. so it is a three three level hysteresis controller mm-hmm. uh, so how it is choose if the error from the uh, compared value is coming uh, is uh, like uh, beyond that upper limit of the band it is output of controller is one if it is between the range it is zero if it is less than the range it is output is minus one so it is a three level uh, similarly is the case with the flux controller it is but it is a two level controller so what i am using is if the uh, if the error of the estimated value and the actual value of the flux is uh, greater than the upper limit of that band then the output of that band is one and the uh, if the error is uh, below the uh, least band then the error or curse coming out as minus one so the switching table requires both these the value of the country torque and hysteresis controller and also the sector in which the space vector is there mm. so the, these three things is required by the look uh, switching ta- uh, table to make my look up table the output of this switching table is given to the inverter i am using the two level three phase inverter which is working in 180 degree mode of conduction mm. so if the upper switch of that inverter is on mm. it will give one, uh, plus 1 if the lower switch is on it will give minus 1 so mm-hmm. from uh, yes sir uh, minus 1 i am using or uh, i am using zero what yeah. any yeah, thing that's okay yeah yeah ha mm. uh, yes sir uh, so this is giving zero so whatever it is uh, coming uh, from uh, the switching table inverter will choose the most appropriate vector that can reduce the torque ripple and flux ripple of the motor and output of that inverter go uh, goes to the ac motor whatever if i am using induction or pms the control is same on and the output of that motor is given to the flux and torque estimator yeah uh, so it will estimate the value of flux and torque and it will again go to that com- uh, error signal how it is compared so it is a closed loop comparator uh, so there is some disadvantage of this method obviously So it contains high torque ripple than yeah. vector control. My other thing is same. Uh, it contains high torque ripple. So to reduce that ripple, I what there are many methods like SVM technique, model predictive control method, duty ratio modulation method, and virtual voltage method, and many more are there. 
and one more thing that I, I am trying to change the motor also now. Okay. okay. Uh, so that, uh, like in PMSM, I did an SRM also. I am trying because in uh, electric vehicle concept is uh, coming more nowadays. Mm -hmm. So it can be helpful in electric vehicle thing and also the environment too. That's true. That's true. Very oh. nice. This it's, brief it's, yeah, it's, it's a very good good project actually yeah yeah very nice once the project is completed uh, we will discuss in a separate session about a complete ppt point of view we will uh, so, yes. so many many people so also, can, yeah many people yes, also so get also benefit. Nicely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah yes that's true that's true the, the details yes. whatever you shared it's uh, very helpful yeah yeah we will discuss in a separate session also yeah and one more okay. thing, uh, you attended that uh, electric vehicle uh, workshop in uh, NIT, right? NIT Surat. So, what is that? Uh, yes, sir. Can you speak a few things about that? Yes, sir. I can, uh, like, I, I just attended. I don't know the basic concept, more about it. Yeah. Uh, it is uh, like uh, nowadays electric vehicle is coming more. Mm -hmm. So, my, my department only organized that. Uh, 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 workshop, so I attended that. Okay. Uh, I got the basic concepts behind how electric vehicle is being made, how it will be helpful in our environment. So uh, different people come and give give their lectures on it. Yeah, so yeah. they it is like yes, sir, it is like uh, how from the scratch how you can make electric vehicle and how you can control it, okay. uh, and uh, uh, and how it can be helpful in the environment and now may, many jobs like uh, we can see in Ola Mo, electric also now they are yeah. recruiting people for from electric vehicle thing yeah, if yeah. people from electric and so it is very helpful and it has more scope so this about that how it is uh, working how we can make it but sorry sir i am not able no, to no 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 much no about yeah yeah no issue no issue just i just want I'm like understand basic understanding yes, only sir. what about that uh, i yes. just wanted yeah yeah this is the yes, main sir. my motto also the i also i think i explored some of the, the most of the motor the different types of motors and the design aspects sir. so that finally uh, any electric vehicle so the motors we can design in a better uh, optimized way with the high power density in small space uh, that is also my 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 personal motto that's I, I think you also may be seen some of the design uh, yes. and the handwritten notes of our different motors i'm also exploring yes. some very very more very, very more in coming days yeah very good yes i know it's actually a wonderful session today so many so many yeah. so, so many good stuff we discussed it yeah and the all things and yeah. your journey and everything it's very good yeah this is not the yeah. end this is just a start for us uh, so so we are going to do many more such good content in coming days yeah okay thank yeah, you dear yeah. yeah yeah thank you dear yeah bye for okay. today thank yeah chalo thank you sir yeah yeah this is about this uh, interview wise i hope you enjoyed this content and if you have any questions or comments or anything then uh, please uh, comment in comment section and if you're watching this video for the first time then do subscribe to this channel so that whenever i'm uploading videos you will get notifications you can simply click and watch it yeah thank you bye we will meet in next video guys